So, hello everyone, and welcome back to STW Sports. And today, I am joined by Blackpool fan Mark Singleton. Well, Mark, welcome to the show. And obviously, Blackpool promoted to the championship last season. Here we go. What are you thinking going into the new one? Well, um, looking forward to it, I'll be honest. Um, we've done a fair bit of moving about um, during the off-season, which I'm pleased about. Um, if I'm honest, I'm glad that we've been able to keep the number of the players that we were able to gain promotion with, uh, particularly with regards to Kenny Dougal, uh, James Husband and Maxwell. I mean, uh, Maxwell did very well. I mean, no wonder he got uh, himself the uh, Golden Glove with regards to how many saves he made last season. Um, so, no, I mean, it should be quite fun uh, looking, at in, uh, looking at how the next season will go. I mean, obviously with Blackpool, one word that describes the club right now is excitement. And obviously Blackpool kind of, obviously, it's kind of an untold story how they went from six years, Premier League, all the way down to League Two, five years, in fact, it was. Um, and now, of course, you're really on your way back up. There's a positive mood around the club. Does it have a little bit of a, you know, feel to 2010 about it under Ian Holloway, maybe right now, Go in, in, in the coming seasons, that is, maybe not this moment, but in the next couple? Ooh, um... See, the thing is, 2010 was an, it was an interesting season um, because you look at three years prior to that, we gained promotion from League Two uh, against Yeovil. Um, I was at that game actually a fairly young, a fairly young kid, uh, fairly good night. Um, but then we, like you said, we gained promotion in 2010. Um, that was pretty good. It was under... Uh, the old ownership, but uh, don't really talk about them. But I think, I think it's it's difficult to compare the two because this um, this guy Critchley, he's new. He's only had one se- one full season with us. He's been able to gain promotion in the first season, which I'm astonished at. I mean, he's done very well. Um, so comparing it, I, I, I'm not really sure I can really. <laughs> I mean, obviously, with that, I mean, even when you did go into the Premier League in the 2010 11 season, mm-hmm. the style of football was exciting. You kind of continued that momentum. I know you didn't stay up in the end, but the football was very exciting. And obviously, you were giving everyone a game. Um, going into the Championship next season, do you feel like Blackpool just need to approach it with no fear? Because, you know, we've seen it in the past. Clubs can go to the Championship and, and can give a really good fight of it. And is that what you're expecting from the club next season? I, I'm I'm almost certainly expecting that. I mean, okay, it will be a dream, an absolute dream to get into the playoffs again and then possibly go up. But I think for them now, they should just concentrate on... Well, th- this is how I see most leagues in, in the English pyramid. You've got sort of the top six. Uh, let, let's say you look at the Premier League, for example. You've got top six, uh, possibly even top eight. Then you work your way down. You've got the middle table uh, group who basically fight amongst themselves. And then you've got the bottom of the pile scrap. As long as Blackpool can keep themselves within the, set, uh, the middle group, I mean, they should be fine. They shouldn't have anything to worry about, really. Yeah, obviously, um, you know, last season, the start was pretty bad from Blackpool. You know, you were kind of quite low down in the table at Christmas. Do you feel like a couple of results just give you the momentum? And like you say, with Critchley... I believe when he got the job, the season pretty much got curtailed immediately. So he never really had a, anything. Really, This was his first chance, really, in charge of the club. Do you feel like it took him a while, maybe, to install his philosophy into the players? And once that clicked, there was no stopping them, really, because you were exceptional from Christmas onwards. I think, yeah, that, that's very fair. Because the thing is, we, we'd been through was it two or three managers before he came in. Because once Simon Sadler took over, uh, took the club over, um, we were in that sort of transitioning period. I mean, we, we brought back Simon Grayson for a period. Um, that, that's how much of a transitioning period we were in. Um, uh, it didn't work out with him, but then we brought in Critchley. And like you said, he didn't have the chance to sort of gel with the players and... It, it, it is quite difficult if you haven't been able to have that connection right from the get-go. But then again, the season was in such a mess, um, you can't, you couldn't really blame him. Um, but I think as long as they actually take last season into, in, into account and the players keep thinking, right, last season we started off really poorly, 
but we still gained promotion. You take that energy, that same energy into the championship. I mean, who knows what can happen? Yeah, um, obviously, you know, one thing I do want to say about this season, we haven't been in the same league as local rivals Preston for over a decade. Going into the next season, how excited are you for that fixture? I mean, with fans back in as well, hopefully, you know, it's a it's an, it's a local derby that we haven't seen enough of in the country recently. And, you know, how excited are you as a Blackpool fan centrally to get one over on the local rivals? Looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, <laughs> when, when we found out that we were going to be playing Preston again, I was thinking, great. This is going to be fun. Uh, my dad and I have already started looking for, for tickets. I mean, not for the Preston game, but just to go and see Blackpool again. Um, so, I mean, we, it's not just them that we've uh, got a, a game to look forward to. I mean, we've got them, we've got Blackburn, uh, which is uh, another fairly close um, sort of proximity to us. Um, so that could be quite fun. Um Oh, I'm just trying to think. Did we get Fleetwood? No, no, we left Fleetwood behind. Um, uh, yeah, um, but no, um, Preston, I think, is going to be a really fun one to watch this season uh, because, again, we've got a fairly young-looking squad. They're, they're fairly hungry. First time back in the Championship for, I mean, years. And also, this is under a, a much stable, a much more stable environment because, again... We don't have fans protesting against the ownership. Yeah, certainly. There's been a big change at the club, as I mentioned at the beginning. Um, I just want to ask as well, as a Blackpool fan, you're obviously a club who've been through a lot in the last decade, but what's your standout moment, would you say, as a Blackpool fan over the years? Oh boy, standout moment. It would have to be the season we gained promotion to the Premier League 2010 uh, when, oh, what was it? Oh, I'm just trying to think which goal I prefer. Because it was against Cardiff. Five goals in the first half. It would either have to be Brett Ormerod scoring or Charlie Adams scoring a um, free kick. Because at the time, he cost Blackpool only half a million pound. Yes, that was a fantastic moment. Gary Taylor-Fletcher netted the winner as well, I believe, in the game. Um, I think with that Blackpool team as well, it was very much a team of, you know, like it was it was it was a team of no stars. It was very much a a team like performance. And do you feel like I mean I know you know you said earlier you don't really want to compare the two. Do you feel like now though that is kind of the way Critchley's trying to get this team no stars in there, just trying to get them playing as a cohesive unit. And we really saw that towards the end, especially in the Lincoln game, going a goal down early on, never let their heads drop if anything. That goal spurred Blackpool on to go on and do even better. So. You know, is that maybe what you see that similarity you possibly see? Yeah, I think I think what Critchley has to do, and I think what he's doing very well is, like you said, he's not allowing the team to become individuals. He's making them into one cohesive unit that will be able to push forward and gain results. I mean, for example, um, like you said, uh, against Lincoln, you go one nil down thanks to an own goal very early on, but. They came back fighting, they kept going. And if I'm honest, <laughs> that goal um, actually helped Blackpool because Lincoln didn't know what to do. They didn't know whether to continue pushing forward or laying back because you don't really expect to go 1-0 down in a playoff final. Yeah, certainly. And I think, like you say, the way Blackpool responded was the most encouraging thing. And obviously, I know records, you know, omens don't really matter too much, but the record at Wembley for Blackpool as well, obviously, and the games have had in the past there. I think that was another maybe thing going into it. But, um, you know, looking at the championship as a whole this season, though, not just Blackpool, the league, like, do you think there's, you know, looking at the teams there, like, is there anyone particularly who you think, is, do you particularly think you can push up the table at the expense of other teams maybe in the division? Because you do have that momentum on your side, you play good football. Do you think that could play a big part going into the new season? I believe it could do. I mean, if you have a look at how things have, um, or you look at um, how the league is shaping up, Derby, for example, we could cause them problems because, I mean, they, they only just survived last season. Um, speaking of Derby, we've actually obtained one of their pre, um, recent um, former players. Um, uh, but I think if we... Barnsley's going to be tough, I think, because they've got Marcus Shop in 
uh, and he, he could be interesting to watch against Blackpool. Um, Preston and Blackburn will be two really good games to watch. I mean, if we can, if we can try and get above them, we we, we will do well. Um, <clears throat> but it's it's going to be very interesting to see how we get results uh, and against who uh, next season, really. Yeah, that's uh, fair enough. I mean, I've already asked you now about favourite, obviously, memory. Um, do you have a particular goal that stands out, maybe, as a Blackpool fan? I mean, you know, the goal that has always lived in the memory, maybe taking away Charlie Adam against Cardiff, because I know that's most people's answer. <laughs> it's it's that one, or oh, possibly one from the DJ Campbell hat-trick that was scored against... Nottingham Forest in the semi-final before um, we got to the playoff final that same year. I mean, that was just brilliant. That was a great night. Uh, second leg um, at Forest. I mean, that that was just really fun to watch. Um, I think it will either be one of that one of them or uh, the, the goal that uh, Dobby scored, uh, Stephen Dobby, uh, in the same game because that that was actually a very good move from from Blackpool. Yeah, that's uh, very that, that season obviously a lot of standout moments as well. So I can uh, definitely see why. Um in terms of a prediction for next season, if you're the same right now where you think Blackpool will finish, bit on the spot of course, where would you say? Oh god um oh man um Again, like I said, I, c- I can't honestly put a, a, a definitive answer on that. Um, as long as we finish sort of mid-table, anything mid-table and above would be really good. Um, as long as we stay in the championship and we continue pushing on and then um, who knows, we'll be able to be- get back in the Premier League again. And that, that would be something really good to watch. I think if, if we stay mid-table, um, we should be good next season. Yeah, well, that's all we've got time for in the interview anyway today, Mark. But thank you very much for joining me and I will see you soon. Cheers.